Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today I'll bring you episode 8 of the most elite weapon setup videos. So in this episode I will discuss the M8 assault rifle. Now I like using the best of the best setups, perks and equipment. As a solid 4KD player, I would probably do things differently than what you're accustomed to doing. But I want you to trust me and try it for a while. I truly try out all of the attachment combinations on this gun and test them extensively before I make these videos. This elite gun setup will give you an edge over the competition and is what I will personally use to destroy lobbies with. Now the M8 assault rifle is a top tier weapon in the game. It's one of the best in the game and is highly competitive. It's the best assault rifle to use in competitive as well. Well, we play public matches six versus six predominantly. So how does it stack up in public matches compared to other assault rifles? Well, this assault rifle in public matches is absolutely great. You can destroy with this weapon, but you just have to be accurate and position yourself properly and engage in the correct encounters. The M8 is a burst fire assault rifle and you have to manually trigger it unlike the auto burst XR2 where you can just hold on the fire button and it will automatically continue the burst. The first attachment that will make this gun elite is quick draw. Getting your sights aimed in and locked onto the target is very important so you can fire off your burst before the enemy can react and this gun will one burst you in at the correct distance but sometimes it averages two or three burst fires depending on the distance so further you go the more burst it will take and depending on your accuracy as well so because it's not a fully automatic assault rifle getting your sights onto the target and killing them immediately can allow you to move on to the other targets around you and that's where quick draw will shine Quick draw will help you snap onto that target and eliminate that target as quick as possible. The second attachment is high caliber. Now one of the main rules of this gun is to destroy head glitches and people camping at the back of the map and to take out medium to long range targets. And in multiple enemy encounters, high caliber would help you out so much because of the flinch as well. When the flinch propels the gun up in the air, it will sometimes give you that crucial headshot coupled with high caliber on the weapon. Top tier players would always favor the M8 assault rifle and of course they will be able to get those crucial headshots. It's not that difficult to get a headshot with this gun and it allows you the time to get it as well. But if you find difficulty in getting those headshots with the M8 then I recommend substituting high caliber with stock on this weapon. The final attachment is extended mags. Yes, you've heard me, extended mags. One of the main reasons you will die using this weapon is during the reload process. The reload is quite slow on this weapon. However, extended mags gives you those added bullets to take on those enemies in a 6v6 situation. Fast mags is good, but you will run out of ammunition unless you're using scavenger, which I do not recommend. So extended mags is better than fast mags for the M8 assault rifle. Extended mags makes a huge difference on this gun for me and I immediately saw a difference in performance, a better difference. Now this is the elite setup for public matches. But if you play SND or you play competitive, then I would recommend the following. Red dot, quick draw, stock and long barrel. And if you want to replace long barrel, replace it with rapid fire, either one. But I do prefer a long barrel on the M8 to give me more consistent burst. This gun is the best assault rifle in the game. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Please do leave a like if you did. Please do share the video if you want to see me grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care.